Hi friends, welcome to the channel. Today's topic is a boost for Indian semiconductor industry. India's semiconductor move is a bold and timely one. Before I start uh, today's topic, I would like to tell some of the points which are related to this topic. Uh, as we all know that India is the largest IT and semiconductor ex uh, export to this world. Uh, but as um, as we consider the hardware, uh, at the time we people are facing very uh, very big challenge. Like we are always importing our uh, hardware needs, like chips from hardware chips from the uh, China and uh, Taiwan. Because China and Taiwan are the uh, major export major uh, semiconductor export to this world. So now, uh, how exactly uh, uh, India has thought uh, to become a self-reliance uh, with respect to uh, hardware industry or like semiconductor industry. So as a part of which, uh, Indian government has is taking uh, certain major steps. So uh, in that, we will, we will be having one of the uh, concept as uh, Semicon India concept. Okay. So currently, uh, since uh, Friday, we were having uh, second version of Semicon India, that is Semicon India 2023. Here the government is wishing to have uh, like India as a hub of semiconductor and chip making, chip making industry. So India is not actually wishing to become like uh, to establish a semiconductor industry even it, it wished to uh, not to deal with the uh, national need but also to provide the global necessity so as a part of which uh, what, what is the what are all the uh, announcement or an uh, attractive announcement you can say that the government is taking example like uh, financial reforms usually we will have uh, certain financial financial obstacles for uh, setting up of any company or any industry or like uh, any investments or concern so that part will be handled by the financial reform on providing a proper financial reforms like uh, import export duties and uh, investment uh, taxes and all so that relaxation a government is providing so to increase or to boost the semiconductor in, in, uh, semiconductor uh, development in the or chip making in the india other than that, like uh, even India is focusing on uh, providing a semiconductor uh, infrastructure. Usually what happens with semiconductor infrastructure, you know, uh, we need a um, large amount of electricity uh, and that is, uh, that is India is uh, easily coping up, coping, coping up with that because uh, uh, we are right now, uh, we are the leader of uh, green energy, right? So that will be supporting there to provide the large amount of energy required, like electricity is required for the semiconductor industry. Other than that, uh, other another two important needs are like uh, water resource availability. So that also uh, the government is focusing on to provide the uh, water requirement for the semiconductor industry. Other than that, we will be having raw material problem. So that also the government is taking action, action on the raw material, raw, raw material availability for the semiconductor in, in, industry. So other than that, uh, no doubt after on uh, having a products and after on uh, uh, doing important export, uh, every company needs uh, like uh, they want certain sort of certain certain sort of tax incentives so usually uh, cur currently india is already providing the tax tax in incentives like pli production link incentives so if any any industry is going to manufacture their product in india and they, uh, they at the time the tax will not be given to them other than that they are giving the in government is giving the incentives to the company to uh, encourage the companies to start their business in india and start their production in india so that is a, one of the important aspect so these are the three attractive announcements you uh, they are doing in the semicon uh, uh, semicon india conclave so other than that uh, another one very very big announcement like india is going uh, going to give 10 billion dollar fiscal incentives for the companies who are setting up their chip making industry okay it's very 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 important announcement actually like 10 billion dollar 
it's not a even in rupees huh? 10 billion dollar fiscal incentives for the companies who wants to set up their chip making industry in country okay this is a good announcement so other than after this what exactly happened so what are all the different uh, companies they are actually uh, participating in this conclave because that conclave is till today till sunday uh, we are having that so, so amd it is an us based company micron amd stands for actually advanced micro devices okay micron technology it is also us based uh, chip making company foxconn it is a taiwan based company okay it's it's actually the largest uh, uh, chip making in, uh, co company it is okay other than that applied materials semi cadence and vedanta vedanta is of indian company okay so these are all the different companies those who are already uh, participating in this uh, semicon india uh, edition 2 okay now we will see what exactly what are all the different announcements done by the different companies here actually there are three uh, three major announcements have been done uh, actually foxconn has not uh, told their investment and uh, uh, actual plan right now but they are very much interested in uh, investing in india other than that like in uh, amd micron and uh, vedanta has given their clear uh, uh, means their statistics with respect to investment and production okay so in uh, we will be starting with uh, first company like amd so they are investing around 400 million dollar okay in india okay for for 5 years okay they are uh, investing this amount in building a design center in bangalore design center means actually it's not a uh, direct production okay before before we go for uh, act, uh, hardware production we need to do the design okay so that's what design design industry they are setting up in a bengaluru okay it will reduce the dependency and also expensive import okay so that's the reason uh, that's the reason why they want to uh, set up that design center in bengaluru okay so because like uh, in order to exp uh, get it imp imported co components and uh, get the any other raw materials so dependency and the uh, expensive import they would like to reduce that's what they are investing around 400 million dollar okay so now the micron technology what what is their announcement actually here they are uh, wishing to establish india's first semiconductor plant in gujarat okay or 5000 direct jobs we may expect okay here you may ask like what sort of jobs as they are uh, vlsi they are chip manufacturing company they will be focusing on vlsi both vlsi skill based people okay so this is direct job huh? indirect job may be once again like 5000 10000 will be there okay so now i'll be uh, the other thing like what they will be developing in in gujarat uh, plant so they will not be simply going with dram development and and get conventional way of uh, manufacturing chip manufacturing they will not be going for that they will be concentrating on the uh, fi finished component packages memory modules and also solid state storage devices solid state storage devices includes sram dram ssd and all those things whatever the computer is using the laptops are using right now so such models such products like such uh, chips you can say such chips they are going to manufacture in gujarat plant okay other than that like uh, indian company vedanta has announced that uh, it will be uh, build, uh, it will be uh, they will be making a made in india chips and that will be ready by 2.5 years means after two and a half years that will be ready uh, vedanta chairman has announced that uh, anil agarwal okay overall chip manufacturing that project uh, outlay of around 20 billion dollar okay as a part as a part of first phase they will be investing 5 billion dollar so this is what how exactly indian uh, chip make chip man making industry or a semiconductor industry is getting an advantage of uh, world worldwide investments okay so we hope that uh, with all such uh, initiatives taken by the government we will be uh, becoming self resilient uh, resilient after certain uh, some years like after 5 years after 10 years okay we hope for uh, we should even provide 
uh, I, I used to sh- tell one small story with respect to this. Actually, what happened in uh, one year back? So there was a uh, very shortage of car, like uh, automobile production, because of. Uh, uh, do you know what for that has happened? Around one year back, the automobile industry were uh, very much lagging with respect to um, car production. What was the major reason for that? The, it's very simple: unavailability of uh, chips. Okay. semiconductor chip the uh, unavailability that happened due because of uh, china uh, was facing uh, corona issue and all so that was the reason so that's what uh, any production like automobile production mobile production it should not rely on any other countries for the chip shortage so that's a major concern indian government is taking so we wish to um, have a good uh, base like currently we don't have any semiconductor industry that's what we should we wish to have a uh, good base for the uh, semiconductor industry to start and also we, um, in after 5 to 10 years we will have our own um, made in india chips ready okay thank you for your patient listening so this is what for today's uh, concept so we will meet and once again with new concept thank you for your patient listening